I'm working until uh, the end of this month in the in the head office of uh, Golden Tulip Hotels, which is an international chain. And I'm working in the distribution department, electronic distribution department. Uh, at the end of this month, I will uh, no longer work for this uh, company, and I'm going to uh, focus full-time on the, on the company that I have created in uh, Cyprus, which offers um, uh, distribution and e-commerce services into independent hotels, uh, mainly within the area of Cyprus, but also international-wise. So, Anthony's e-commerce makes me think of a new buzzword, which is uh, the so-called Web2. And can you tell us what... Uh, Web2, in my uh, view, means um, enabling the user to interact and participate in the selection process before making a decision whether or not to visit destination or a hotel. I can mention uh, one website which is probably known to many people planning to travel which is the TripAdvisor. Um, from there you can see the destination literally on a map, you can see it by real photos, even videos, you can leave your comments and you can also read the comments of others. And uh, another website which is worth mentioning is uh, the one of Priceline which actually enables people to uh, name their own price, which means that uh, if you want to visit one destination, you just give the name of the destination, you ask, uh, you mention what your budget is, the highest amount you're willing to offer, and then they come back to you, they, add, they go themselves, they request from hotels if they're willing to give that rate, and then they come back to you and they tell you, yes, we found one, of course, they will not tell you the name, but they will give you what you ask for. So it's really, um, it's really enabling the user to get what they are asking for, what they want. Sure, the benefits are that uh, you are in a, you are in a process where you where you interact yourself, where you know that you are getting involved more before making your selection. So uh, it's good for the consumer to really know where they're going, how, and what they will do there. Suppliers can, uh, hotel suppliers uh, can really start taking, making, uh, okay. hotel suppliers can start making benefits of Web2 and of this new concept um, by, uh, by allowing more interaction from the, from the consumer, by uh, not filtering exactly, I mean, it's good to have, for example, if we talk about commenting, it's good for a hotel to leave both negative and good comments. Of course, there has to be a limit of how much negative you have and how much positive. But uh, they have to seem realistic. That's the main idea. Um, hotel hotel uh, providers, travel uh, websites and so forth, they, they have to make their products seem realistic. So if they want an interactive tool, they need to allow all kinds of comments within a limit, of course, uh, so that they can actually convince the user. They, uh, they should not portray something which is perfect or which is uh, flawless. They have to really um, do that, of course, with care, but um, have a mixture of opinions in there.